Known for her soulful lyrics and captivating voice, our next guest has been making waves in the music scene. We are happy to welcome back singer-songwriter Heather Rice to our Spotlight Music Series. Heather, it's so nice to have you back on the show. Thank you so much for having me, Taylor. So you've been on the show twice before. Yes. So for our audience who may not be too familiar, who are you? Can you tell me about yourself? So I'm a singer-songwriter mm -hmm. and a jazz artist. Um, I moved to Charleston about seven years ago and the town has just taken me in and it feels like home now. Mm. The artist community has been so good to me yeah. and I've made a lot of art here. Mm -hmm. And your sound is very unique. I feel like it kind of pulls from a bunch of different genres. How did that come to be? Did you study different types of music? I majored in opera, um, but I always loved jazz and I started singing with jazz orchestra in my teens. Mm -hmm. um, so the jazz and the classical and the theater was always there. And then in college, I got really into female pop rock. Oh. So that became an influence in my writing. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have uh, some new music coming up. Can you tell me about that? Yes, I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the albums is called Some Things in the Water, and we'll premiere um, a few of those original pieces at the Joni Mitchell Symphony show I have coming up. So that will come out um, probably spring of this year. Okay. And then there's a collaboration that I just finished based on the fine art of Damien Stommer. Oh. And it's an album with um, some jazz musicians that I collaborated mm -hmm. with, Tyler Ross, Gerald Gregory, Stuart White, and Tim Kayat. Mm -hmm. And we just went into the studio and made this live album based on this abstract art. Mm -hmm. And it's wild and lovely. I can't yeah. wait to bring it to you. And now you've been you know, involved in music for a long time now. Does your inspirations change? Um, I think lately I've really been leaning into jazz more than I ever had before. I kind of fought it for a long time mm -hmm. because I kind of wanted to do folk music and I wanted to do what my friends were doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I'm really leaning into the jazz artist, the maturity of that. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it feels, it feels really good, it feels like home. Yeah, that's beautiful. And now you mentioned just a little bit ago that there is a big event coming up. Yes. Um, that our viewers, can we can all go and see it. Can you tell me about this event and why it's so special? Yes, and tickets are selling really fast, so I'm, I'm hoping everyone that wants to come can come. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Joni Mitchell tribute symphony show. Um, it's with the North Charleston Pops, that's uh, the orchestra that I'm performing it with, and mm -hmm. we've co-produced it together. Mm -hmm. It's at the North Charleston Performing Arts Center, okay. um, and we will premiere these custom arrangements of Joni Mitchell songs, some of her most iconic songs. Wow. Also the Beatles, Aaron Copeland, some music from The Who. Mm -hmm. We have a killer rhythm section. Um, these arrangements have never been heard before. So both sides now, Big Yellow Taxi, mm. um, it's gonna be great. Leonard Jones and Jonathan Lovett did the arrangements for us and they are pretty magnificent. Yeah, and this has been like years in the making, right? Yeah, it's been like three years in the making. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, now where can um, where can we go and buy tickets for this? Okay, Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Or you can call the box office. Okay, and, and what date is this? January 27th. Okay, perfect. At 7.30. Tomorrow at 7.30. Perfect, we'll put that down below. But now we are, after the break, we're gonna see one of your music videos. Tell me about this song, but also how you shot this whole thing yourself. Okay, so this song is just a cute little pop song about a chickadee who loves this guy who comes into her coffee shop, mm. but he, he, she's just in the friend zone. So okay. it's a very sweet little concept, and my friend who um, owns a coffee shop lent me her space, and I came with one camera and a couple of my friends, Gracie and Lacey, who are artists in town. They've oh, been on yes, the show. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful dancers and singers, mm. and so they were in it, and Eric Vaughn, who's also an artist um, in Charleston, and so I just had a lot of fun with my camera directing them around. Yeah. And then I edited it and it was just 
fun. I wanted it to look really vintage mm -hmm. and kind of 1950s. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited to see it because you are just, you're so uber talented and, and the music videos are just absolutely incredible. So i um, very excited to see that after the break. And now how can we keep up with you? Thank you so much for of saying course. that. Of course. It's true. That means a lot coming from you since I know you're a filmmaker. Aww. How do you keep up with me? You go to IamHeatherRice.com. Perfect. Yeah. IamHeatherRice.com. And the song, Don't Let Me Fall, in two minutes. Heather, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.